Hello and welcome to Circle Time. Hi, Sue. Do you want to say hi to our friends? If you're new here, this is Sue. Sue helps us get our day started. My name is Miss Kathy and this is Fred, our fish. So every day when you come to class, we have to do our class job, right, Sue? We have to take care of and feed Fred. So let's do that right now. Would you like to help me feed Fred? Okay, here you go, Fred. Well, now that we have fed Fred, let's turn around and see what day it is today. I'm using my bird pointer because today we're learning about birds, or at least the eagle. The month is May, and let's reach into our can and see how we're gonna count. Fly like a bird. Okay, so flap your wings as we count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's today, it's May 8th. Can you say that? May 8th. If you wanna know today's day of the week, you have to go to the top. It starts with an M. So what sound does M make? Mm. So what day is it today? Mm, Monday. Today is Monday. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Well, it's time to check the weather. So look outside your window and see what your weather is like and then come back and we'll sing about it. Okay, did you check? Are you ready? When I do like this, just shout out your weather. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is, it is, it is out today. It is, it is, it is out today. Well, let's dress Weather Bear. Weather Bear, we're going to put on some pants for you and we're going to put on a shirt, short sleeves shirt. And what is the season right now? It's spring. The season is still spring. Well, that was our calendar time, and now it's time for our letter of the day. Today's letter is the letter E. Do you have an E in your name? If your name has letter E, stand up. If your name has letter E, stand up. If your name has letter E, if your name has letter E, if your name has letter E, stand up. Well, today E is for eagles and we decorated our letter E today like an eagle by coloring the bottom part black. So I just did some zigzag lines and all this part at the bottom is gonna be black because an eagle has black feathers at the bottom. And an eagle is called a bald eagle because at the top, it doesn't have black feathers, it has white feathers. It looks like it has no feathers, but they're there, they're just white. So we'll leave the top part white and we'll make the bottom part black on our letter E. And there's the little letter E right there. I might make that one yellow like the eagle's beak or orange. Okay, so there's how we're decorating our E today, like an eagle, black on the bottom and white at the top. Well, now that we can recognize letter E, it's time for us to practice writing it. To write a letter E, you're gonna make a number one, have you noticed that lots of our letters start with number one? 
So let's start with a one, and then we're gonna make a line across the top and the middle and the bottom. One, two, three, four lines to make a big letter E. Let's practice together on handwriting paper. And parents and teachers, you can get this handwriting house sheet at my website for free. Look under shop and free. The link is below. One, two, three, four. This is how you make big letter E, uppercase, capital E, one, and then top, middle, and bottom. One, top, middle, bottom. Well, the little E doesn't really look anything like the big E, as you can see on our card. To make a little E, you're going to make a line that goes out just straight out. And then you're gonna go around, out and around. It looks like kind of like a letter C if you get rid of that middle line. So think about it like that. Make a line that goes out and then make a letter C all the way around. So out and around. Downstairs, if you're using handwriting paper, remember the little letters go downstairs out and around, out and around. Well, that's how you write letter E, and I'm gonna cheer for you because I know you have been doing a great job practicing, listening, and learning. Here's a sticker for your paper. Well, now that we know what letter E looks like, we know how to write letter E, it's time to talk about the sound that E makes. Letter E is one of those special letters that we call the vowels. Here's one of the vowel people. This is old man E. Old man E can't hear very well. When you speak to him, he's gonna say, eh, what'd you say, Sonny? Eh, can you put your hand on your ear and say, eh, 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 what did you say? <laughs> if you look carefully, you can see an E in the picture it's hiding, where is it? It's his ear, his ear looks like the letter E. So hopefully when you see an E, you'll remember that E says, eh, 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 like old man E. Well, E can make another sound. E can also say its own name, E. E as in eagle. So the two sounds of E are eh and E. All the vowels make two sounds. Well, it is time for us to make something fun for art. Let's head over to the art table and we're going to make an eagle. For art today, we're gonna make this bald eagle craft. I found this online, I'll put the link below, but you could easily draw one. It just looks like a rainbow and then some zigzags at the bottom. This is gonna be the beak, but you could also draw your beak if you didn't want to print this. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is color the beak. And then I'm just gonna start cutting everything out. No, a bald eagle isn't really bald. A bald eagle has white feathers at the top of its head. So we're actually going to use white tissue paper for those feathers. So before I put my feathers on, if you don't have big googly eyes, you might wanna draw the eyes. If you do have big googly eyes, then you can wait and glue those on at the end. I don't, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw my eyes. And also, if you didn't want to print out the beak, then you might want to go ahead and draw your beak. Then you can work around the things you've drawn. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add some glue all over my eagle head. Then I'm just gonna take some white tissue paper and tear it and just start sticking it all over that glue.
Okay, so now we just need to put that beak on. So I'm just gonna cut out the beak. And if you don't have this paper, just make a diamond from orange paper and that would really be fine. You're just going to want to fold it in the middle and then you can glue it right on there. This has a couple of other folds that you can make to make this kind of have a 3D effect. Okay. So there you have it. There's my eagle and you can see the bee kind of pops out. So that's our art project for today. Now let's do something fun for science. For science today, let's explore some different kinds of bird beaks. So a hummingbird and birds that are small like that often have a beak that's kind of like a straw. Their beak is great for sticking into flowers and sucking up the flower juice or the nectar. So this straw is kind of like a hummingbird's beak. Next, we have some, some nuts right here. These are almonds. And so birds, some birds have really powerful jaws like these pliers here. And those powerful jaws are great for crushing and cracking into those nuts. Cardinals are a great example of a bird that has powerful jaws like this wrench or pliers like these pliers. Next we have um, some birds that are really good. Their beaks are really designed for digging. They can dig down in the dirt and pull up those worms to eat. An example of a bird that has a beak like this, kind of like these chopsticks, good for digging and picking out those worms from the dirt would be a robin. And finally, some birds have really sharp jaws. They're great for tearing, like these scissors can tear into these marshmallows. An eagle has a beak like this, really sharp for tearing. So these are some different kinds of bird beaks. God designed different kinds of beaks for the birds. Some birds' are, beaks are like a straw for sucking the nectar from flowers, like a hummingbird, or really powerful to crack into those nuts like these um like this these pliers and that would be like a cardinal and then some are really sharp like the eagle for tearing and then some like the robin are great for digging and getting worms out of this dirt so that was our little science activity for today now let's read a story together today's story is called birds by jill mcdonald Birds are all around us, soaring in the sky, singing in the trees, hopping on the ground. cock a doodle doo a rooster starts the day with his loud call. Peck, 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 this noisy woodpecker is looking for food inside a tree trunk. A duck swims on the pond with her babies, quack, 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 paddle, paddle, paddle. Pigeons like to live in the loud city. Pigeons often build nests on window ledges or bridges. But flamingos love to flock quietly together near the water. Flamingos often stand on one leg. What do you see in the treetops of the warm jungle? It's a toucan with a bright rainbow beak. Toucans make their nests in hollowed out trees. Brr, penguins live in the cold. They can't fly, but they love to swim. The penguin can swim faster than any other bird. Ostriches also cannot fly, but they can run, run, run. The ostrich is the world's largest bird. The hummingbird may be tiny, but it flies fast, and it can fly forward and backward. They're called hummingbirds because their fast wings make a humming noise. Peacocks have beautiful colored tail feathers. What colors do you see? Hoo, hoo, owls can see in the dark. An owl sleeps all day and stays awake at night. Good night, owl. The end. <laughs> well, I have a little bonus learning for you today if you wanna stick around. If not, you can go. We're finished with our letter of the day activities. But if you'd like to learn more about eagles, I'm gonna tell you some things right now about those. 
So this is a bald eagle. Bald eagles are called bald because of the white feathers on their head. But as you can see, they're not really bald. Their feathers are just white colored. Bald eagles can fly up to 10,000 feet. That means they can soar high above the ground. They have sharp hooked beaks. Remember, great for tearing like we learned in our science moment. They use their sharp talons for catching prey. They can swoop down over the water and pick out a fish. And here you can see an eagle's nest. Usually eagles build their nests high above in the tops of trees or even on tall buildings. And this picture just shows us how big a bald eagle is. Wow, they are very big birds. Well, I hope you had some fun today with our letter of the day circle time. E was for eagle. Tomorrow, F is for frogs. So I hope you'll join me then. We'll learn all about from tadpoles to frogs. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great day.